Officer, there's an misunderstanding. I was trying to remove too this fast. other British. Too fast. You're talking Officer, too fast. Officer, okay. I was trying to remove <laughs> this <laughs> other British <laughs> gentleman <laughs> from the train. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Elvis Presley laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's big news. Russell Brand accused of Oh yeah, that's from Doesn't count if he calls it out the day before. Yeah, well, some of us believe in innocence until proven guilty, so let's not hang the man until the courts have. You would side with the witches, Hunter. I mean, he could have someone. I don't think we should <laughs> immediately just side with Russell Brand here. I'm just saying you wait until due process has been complete. That's all I'm saying. I think if you're ever uh, alleged about anything, you should die. Yeah, well, now we're being <clears throat> reasonable. If, if anyone says any ill will towards you, you should be shot in the face immediately. That would solve a lot of problems. It would. It would. How was your, uh, how was your gambling trip? Too short. It was a lot of fun. I could have stayed there for the rest of the year. I could have just moved there. Was it was it the big unwinds that you so hoped for? Yeah, it was nice. It was nice turning off my phone. It was nice uh, just kind of getting away. But yeah, another days just went by so fast. It was crazy. But, you know, it was a nice little getaway. We're back at it now. But uh, I'm going to try to take off December is, how I'm, is, is what I'm doing right now. So uh, I'll have a longer vacay then, but less okay. gambling. So it's you not can't just it. sneak in vacay like that. Vacay. Yeah, it's yeah just a quick vacay. little vacay. Okay, I like that. That's good. And how much money did we win? We fucking did we come out on top? I did. I made four grand. I was very happy. Fuck off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. And to actually even sit there, I I even uh <clears throat> I'm gonna flash some of the cash that I have on camera. Yes. So there you go. I thought the house well. always wins, but that my man is fucking going on holiday and making money. I, you know, that's the thing is people. It, it's a lot of fun. I, I went with some some buddies and stuff, and we played. We did play some like very dirt cheap tables. But the thing is, you know, to, to make money, you got to bet big, and I bet big a couple of times, and it, it paid off. So, <clears throat> you know, it was nice. What eclectic group of men were you rolling with? We, when we had everybody there, it was Noel, Germa, uh, Trevor was there for one night, and then, yeah, uh, and then uh, an unnamed man that I'll tell you off the podcast. <laughs> oh, I like that. Now I just want to end the podcast. That's too right. tantalizing. Be sure to tune in next week for <laughs> another episode. <laughs> can we stop and restart the recording, and then and then we can be like, whoa. Or or if anything, I can say it, but I we just can't talk about it. Whatever. Okay, deal. It's a uh, it was, but I didn't want to say it because of the whole uh, thing going on. So, right. Wow. Yeah. I mean, he uh, the person who you went with has so Jason stayed. Ah, to... Damn it! I didn't mean to say it out loud. Uh, Fuck. So yeah, uh, but... what's this game even called? Uh, it's blackjack. It's known around the world. Yeah. Well, we don't have that overseas. Like, don't, have you lived in America for like 25 years? Yeah, well, I'm Jason Statham. Wish I could do a really good Jason. Does that kind of sound like Jason Statham? Does that? No, not really. No? Yeah. All right. No. Well, what if I went up in this register? Is this more of a Jason Statham? I don't know. He's just got like, obviously everyone can do the stupid Cockney thing, but you he's got fucker. a timbre to his voice. So well, he does kind of have. He does kind of have like a Cockney. I think he. I think he eggs it on for the roles. Oh, I mean, obviously, dude. No what sound, are you no getting on like about? What are you getting? What on are you about? getting on about? He's just a fucking, just a hero, really. You know. I like Jason God, Statham. You know, God my bless favorite. any man who can fucking lean into his typecast that hard and carry the career on this long. Why? You know, I my favorite movie of all time is Crank. You guys know me. You know, my favorite movie of all time is Crank. <laughs> I'm more of a transporter kind of guy. Yeah, well, no, I think Crank is definitely the more uh, superior film about a man who has to keep his heart racing. And that's what awesome. would you do? Fucks, how would you going. keep your heart racing for? How I long would you do it for? Uh, forever, I think. 
until okay. he gets the cure. Right. Okay. Go ahead. What would you I think do? I would just, I would get a portable DVD player and I would bring my copy of crank and I just do what he does. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were I just going to say you'd get your, you'd watch your copy of Crank on repeat. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know what? I changed my, that is my answer now. Yeah, I would just watch Crank on repeat. and how I, watch crank, I watch Crank 1 and Crank 2 high voltage on repeat all day, every day. You know, I, I don't feel like Crank 2 lived up to the glorious no, I, fights I, I of don't. its predecessor. Well, I completely disagree. I think Crank 2 is on equal levels because there's this funny part, I think, in Crank 2, if I'm pretty sure. That is, uh, there's like a guy, there's like a Mexican drug cartel guy, but it's just his brain and eyeballs in a jar. I'm pretty sure it's like really? super, car- it's super cartoony. Yeah. Maybe I haven't seen it in a while. That sounds great. Oh, it's Does, awesome. In Crank 1, doesn't he fuck his girlfriend in the middle of the, uh, a street with a crowd Oh, around? yeah. Yeah. That's and he awesome. does that. And you, he, and, you couldn't and, do and, that today. Huh, oh, I was really good. Oh, I absolutely could. And I would. And then in Crank High Voltage, he fucks her on a, uh, on a dog track. So he fucks, oh, he her, fucks again. her again. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was a big bit that they definitely had to, uh, I mean, it's so good. We can't not put it in the sequel. Oh, I think I'm going to have to fuck her again. And then fucking whoever the fuck it is. I mean, kind of, I always thought it was Gwyneth Paltrow, but it's not Gwyneth Paltrow. It's like, she was in this movie called road trip back in the day. She kind of, yeah, I don't know. She always looks oh, sickly. Beth the girl always road looks trip. Yeah. She always looks sickly. I don't know why I think that way, but you know, if she gets Jason Statham hard, then she gets me hard. I like the metaphorical aspects of fucking her on a dog track. Did he do it doggy style? He's a bit of a dirty dog, isn't he? D- does he uh, does he do doggy style? Please? I think he does a bunch of different ones. Yeah, he does like a little show for him. He does he like fucks her in a, a, like at a like a what is it a like the fuck what what uh not a fucking Ferris wheel. What the fuck am I thinking? <laughs> The fucking That's pushing eclectic for my knowledge. I can't fucking think of the the name of it, but it's it, the it's she's on her hands crawling while he fucks her from behind. Crawling, fuck it. yeah, she's like crawling on her hands, and he's like fucking her from behind. And he's holding her legs up like a wheelbarrow, <laughs> wheel wheelbarrow. There you go. So Ferris what? wheel. See, I, I couldn't fucking get my fucking my brain so working. She, wait, she's is she in motion? She's like moving forwards on yeah, her hands. Like, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, he's like. Ugh. Like trying to the get away. Cheering. No, no, no. It's like sexy. It's, it's like they're putting on a to show. Walk away. It's putting on a sexy. Sh- it's putting on a sexy the show for the barrow. crowd at the at the at the track. I gotta try that, dude. It sounds great. Yeah, will my yeah, wife yeah, all you, around yeah, the house. You and your wife doing a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Stop it! Stop would it! You, would you rather watch? Would you rather watch Draw Butler's Gamer or would you rather watch Crank? Crank. Yeah, good answer. Yeah, good answer. Come on, we're, we're even though even though when I was a uh, kid, I really liked Gamer. Even though that movie is, it's not very good. That is the first time I heard the Bloodhound Gang that uh, Bad Touch song, whatever. Oh my god, what a what a fucking banger! I know. I, I, I better remember came. what happened in Gamer. What the fuck even happened? In it's gamer? the dumbest fucking idea. It's like gamer is so stupid. It's like uh draw in this world, you can play this video game, but it's hooked up to real people that are controlled by a chip that are in prison. And then uh the guy who plays Dexter is like the mastermind of it. But <clears> draw <throat> butler, oh, he's a, he's an yeah, innocent yeah, white right. man <clears throat> and he is in jail for the wrong reasons. So he teams up with this like Mormon, this like nerdy Mormon kid who's like, I'm the best in the world. And they like playing cahoots to get him free i think it's like they they use the same <laughs> you know like what is it like in uh in world war ii it was like if you were a bomber you if you completed so many missions you'd be done they'd like retire your plane it's like that with gamers like you have to you have to like win so many matches or complete so many matches and then you're set free mm-hmm. i've never seen this i'm just realizing oh really it's uh you know like 11 year old me was like this is so sweet i kind of oh like the concept God. honestly concept's fun connor wanted to be that yeah. guy that there's like a sims game that uh gerard butler's wife has to play she's like she's like um, yeah she's a prostitute in a game and then this like fat guy who looks just like me dips like this like waffle <laughs> sandwich into this big bowl of maple syrup it's so gross <laughs> 
Yeah, but he and plays. As a kid, I was like, that's me, that's he me. Plays, he plays another chick. And but he like fucks her, so it's awesome. So actually, I came out on top there. Yeah. yeah. Right, Don? Yeah, yeah. Don, right? That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, uh, was awesome. I, yeah, I just was saw a, a, a reel on Instagram where a bunch of Japanese women are being asked, like interviewed on the street. And the guy's like, is it cheating if your man like goes and fucks prostitutes? Oh, and the almost, Japanese thing. Yeah, almost all yeah. of them were like, no, yeah. no, not at all. No, I'd rather no, I'd, I'd, I'd rather I'd rather him fuck a prostitute than just some random girl. Then have which is like, like that's the only two a, options. Yeah. <laughs> well, then have, okay. Even then, have to like have a friend, like a female friend, to have a relationship with someone else, like an emotional connection. Yeah, I. Do you know what? The prostitute I, it kind of all makes sense. It, it, it does. Sense it does. It does make sense. But at the same time, it's just it's it's it, it's a lie. There's no way that's real. That's a perfect world situation. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> sure dude, yeah it's just, dude even the yeah. facts they let's say it's all a big fucking japanese conspiracy to make their country look awesome even yeah. if that's the case that they all agreed to f- buy into that lie that is already still a better society yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's obviously, why it's so peaceful obviously it's not too yeah that's well, why it's not because that, everyone gets their nut out and they're just fine <laughs> well everybody and that or they grab women by the fucking root of their hair and drag them face first on a subway in, train in a train in a train because it's, yeah, it's, it's a it's a it's a beautiful beautiful you know, where, country where did where did the men in japan get this notion from that they can treat women like fucking objects <laughs> all the japanese women are like yeah I'm I, mean, go, I don't care i'm gonna go dump my load into some prostitute that's fine as long you don't hang out and play switch together <laughs> yeah but you can <laughs> hey if you were gonna want to drag a woman by her hair through a train cart and viciously grope her as yeah. long as you don't strike up a well, conversation people, before well, or people like it's okay. like emotionally look forward and don't do a single thing to stop it <laughs> everybody plays f099 on their switch they couldn't be they couldn't be fucked yeah as this woman is just like grabbed like a bowling ball in front of them yeah literally a three finger special just right in front of them and everyone's just like oh i'm, I'm looking on my oh, phone to, oh takeshi what are you up to <laughs> yeah takeshi takeshi what are you doing over there you silly little guy the, the thing is though is not a single one of them would be staring down at their fucking nintendo switch playing animal crossing they would all be taking up skirts as it happens <laughs> God. It's just a bunch of Japanese people <laughs> looking just like down at their phone. But when you see what's on the screen, yeah, it's it literally a, the yeah. front facing camera. <laughs> it becomes a, uh, become, uh, it, it, that, it's funny you say that because whenever I went to Fairbanks with Allison, um, when we saw the Northern Lights, these Japanese people were like dead sprinting with, and they all had like, I mean, like super expensive cameras and they all had tripods and stuff and they're dead sprinting, taking pictures and stuff. And I just pictured that like them in their in their coats and everything, <laughs> like on the train, just like <laughs> full on fucking camera crew with the yeah. with the boom mic, just everyone rushing this train cart where there's <laughs> yeah, the fucking, stations happening. <laughs> the the wind blimp on the on the shotgun mic for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> just because it looks good. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Hell yeah. No, that yeah. sounds like Japan to me. Beautiful, I just can't, beautiful. I can't imagine country. why it is. It is funny though, because they are like you know one of the safest, most peaceful nations, whatever in the world. You can go there, fall asleep drunk on the street, mm. nothing's going to happen to you. Not but a single thing. You you step one inch into that train cart, and yeah, all God better forbid, off. God, God forbid, you get that fucking <laughs> train cart. <laughs> fucking a hey, the the gloves are off as soon as the fucking <laughs> those train doors stop, and it's clean too. It's a nice sterile place. You're like, oh, this looks peaceful, and everyone's just like, no, get out of there, don't go in there. It's dude, it's basically because they do have a cart that's just for women, right? That's like their stopgap solution. Oh, like, yeah. Okay, if we just separate the women folk. It would be okay. So, in a way, by going in a mixed gender cart, you are kind of signing up for whatever happens. Dude, I will say, uh, talking about Japan and stuff, there's nothing that cringes me more than seeing these like American streamers going over there and just acting like fucking idiots. Oh, that guy got knocked out. That was so good, dude. Yeah, I'm glad. Mm. I, I love it. It's fucking, that was beautiful. Uh, especially like one of like the, well, people say it's Yakuza, but I'm like, I mean, I don't fucking know, but he's just like, yeah, if you do it again, we're going to kill you. And it looked like very sincere. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and he's like, nah, 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 like, you're not going to do it. Like, yeah, we will. 
we will kill you. He's like, okay. Uh, I didn't see that one. You're, you're, you're joshing me. It was the guy, it was like the most infamous one recently. I can't remember yeah, his yeah, name. Yeah, Nagasaki, I mean, Nagasaki Hiroshima, Nagasaki Hiroshima, that guy. Yeah, 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 that guy. And uh, I don't even want to say his fucking name too, because fuck him, but... Uh, yeah, no, that was that was the last interaction he had, and I think he Before left. Before we talk that. about the hero that knocked him out, I do want to go back and say that train cart thing where they're consenting yeah. to being groped because they don't go in the women's train cart was a joke. That was, in fact, a joke. Okay, <laughs> back to okay. programming. Yeah, the- if you thought, yeah, well, I, I hope that there was some common sense there, but, well, the, the, the reason that you, you even just bring up the all-female thing was that there's the a different guy who just to like be a dickhead because it's like a pretty clear rule where it's like, Oh, that's the female only cart. And to like get on there is super disrespectful. And it's just like fucking, I mean, it must be like creepy as shit. So, so yeah, he like gets on there and all that. You can see like everybody tense up and it's just, Oh God, it's just, it's so aggravating, dude. It's, it is pretty funny that they just, they decided to collect all the young nubile women into one train cart, almost as if to make them, an easy target. It could read as a literal pinata for sexual predators, but <laughs> I, you know, I mean, it, it, it seems like a good method though, too, to where hopefully if somebody saw a guy in there, they'd be like, Hey, get the fuck out of there. Yeah. But for real. Know. It does seem uh, like the most you, tempting of candy jars. Would, would, would you, if you were in Japan and you saw a guy get on that, would you say anything? It, it depends. Um, depends if they're like, let me throw a couple of different variables. Can I throw okay. a couple of variables yeah. at you? Go First ahead. one, you just see a guy and he's just standing there. N- n- nothing too suspicious. It looks like he's just on his phone. But he's standing in there. It de- it depends if if they're either uh, white or British. Yes. Anything else? No. So if it was just like a regular Japanese guy, you wouldn't say anything. Nah, no, no, not at all. That's it's not my place to police those people. What if it was a Japanese guy? What if it was a Japanese guy? And he was like, and just to just to throw a th- curveball at you, what was a Japanese guy and he was just doing cartwheels? <laughs> <laughs> he's not because touching anybody or hitting anybody. He's just I, doing cartwheels. The wheels problem is, can't, I don't, can't stop him. You know, he's, yeah, he's. I might go and watch. If I'm honest, I might go in the train car. I would if I saw some kind of plan. Did, he's up to something. If I saw a man in the tr- in the female train car doing cartwheels, I would definitely. That is like the perfect time to. Come. To beep your head and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of here, dude. But to be fair, I would do that on just a regular subway train. I'd be like, dude, enough with the fucking cartwheels. We get it. Good for you. See, the, the problem is, like, if it was a... um, Let's say it's, like, someone from Ghana, right? So, so you can tell... Ah, or anyone who's basically not a Japanese person, and you mm. go in and you start arguing with them... I feel like there might be enough of a barrier in terms of language that they would just see two foreigners shouting at each at each other, and then it makes all of us look bad. Then that video gets put on the internet, and now everyone's like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I mean, I think feel like you, just you let could, them be and let look. the Japanese deal with it. <laughs> yeah, put your nose down, and hopefully another another hero will come through. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully the law enforcement will come and take. Care I'm of it. sure it'll work itself out. Is what you say to yourself. I'm yeah, sure imagine, okay, so it, imagine you see all right so there's a british mm. man he's on the train and yeah. he's like hey, i go on there because i feel like it's my responsibility <laughs> yes, to sir, please. extract my countrymen from yeah. this you know stop doing that however the police show up just as me and him are shouting at each other belligerently mm. and now i feel like i'm going to get in trouble too because they're just going to see two foreign dudes on a train yelling in a language they don't understand and a strange japanese man cartwheeling in the background who do you think they're going to arrest i would honestly gut reaction i would arrest the cartwheeling guy yeah i would yeah people, but you're not t- t- two people two people doing it well you asked me what i it, so am i is this from the perspective of my japanese brain well the, i'm just saying the police would probably Side no, no, with no. the Japanese no, no, no. man. Are you saying that is this going to be in my? Is this from the perspective of my Japanese brain? You have a Japanese brain now. Well, in this scenario, if you're saying that you said I wasn't a Japanese man, so if I'm putting myself in the mind of a Japanese man, is is, is that okay? You're yeah, me? yeah. Put yourself. Imagine you're the, you look exactly the same, except your skin mm. is bronze. You have uh, epic <laughs> cantic fold, whatever the fuck it is. What would my hair look like if I was Japanese? I'm trying to think it's about exactly that. Exactly how it is now. Well, I don't <laughs> think that is. Is that possible? 
they just have like straight hair. You could do some curling. What's that mean? So is my hair now? Okay, so I, I went to a salon and got it styled, but it's black yes. now. Have okay. you? What, have you not seen like the rockabilly culture in Japan? No, I don't think I have. Let me Google that. L- yeah, look up Japanese greases. It's fucking <clears throat> hilarious. Yeah, no, that works for me. I'd That's be what I'm Japanese saying. Like they, they could, they could do anything. Okay, so you're a That's Japanese sick. greaser. Yeah, you walk in, and who do you? So arrest? I'm, a, I'm not a cop anymore. I'm you a are. Greaser. You're a Japanese greaser cop. You're undercover. <laughs> okay, I do. I do like the idea, especially if my hair looks like this, and I have like a blue uniform with a badge. Yeah, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put in the general here, and then my hair looks like that. Yeah. Okay. So that's you. <laughs> A new step. I'm shouting at someone. Hate, yeah, yeah. I hate to say it, but I feel like I'd be a bit of a show pony, and I think I might get all of you. I'd probably do like a little dance. And I'd probably like I'd probably fucking arrest everybody. I said, "What's going on here?" I said like that, and I oh, do so a little you dance. Speak English. Sure, I'm a very eccentric man. Oh, okay. I say, officer, there's an misunderstanding. I was trying to remove too this fast. other British. Too fast. <laughs> You're talking officer, too fast. Okay. I was trying to remove <laughs> this other <laughs> British <laughs> gentleman <laughs> from the train. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Elvis <laughs> Presley laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rockabilly. I'm trying to be Elvis. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to leave. I mean, arrest I see what you're, I, molester. I, yeah, and I'll grab you. <laughs> no, what is this a misunderstanding? <laughs> Matt, there is a misunderstanding. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Turns out I'm not a cop at all, I'm a serial killer. <laughs> I'm a Japanese serial killer dressed up as Elvis. Okay, in that case, I would punch you in the face. I'd no, no, no. Out. Okay, well, then I backflip, and then I do, I fucking cave in your chest with a scissor kick. Okay, you are literally five foot three. You cannot do anything to me. I that. absolutely could. I absolutely could. No, no, no. I'd, 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 run, on, tiny, I'd run on tiny, trees. Man. I'd run on the top of trees. Okay, we're in the subway. Well, I would, I would fucking, I'd put my fist up, and I'd jolt out of it, and I'd go through the ceiling, and I'd run on trees up there. And I would gain enough momentum to where I'd shoot myself back down like a goddamn missile into the subway tunnel and I'd scissor kick you in the chest. But just before like that happens, the cartwheeling man goes in front and fucks up your trajectory. He combo breakers me? Yes. Boom, the train boom. is saved. I am lauded as a national <laughs> hero. I get all of the big booby <laughs> Japanese women in the train cart molesting me. Yeah. He- He's just so British. I feel like <laughs> I feel like Japanese women wouldn't like British people. I feel like there's like the there's the American aspect, which is just I mean, it doesn't make any sense. But people are like, oh, Americans. But British people, they're like, oh, it's too close. You know what I mean? Yeah. British people. I don't know. I you know, I may have just heard propaganda, but my understanding is they like how polite we are and they have a very warped view of what mm. Britain is like. They still think it's like. Gentlemanly yeah, and mm-hmm. like, yeah. Whereas, yeah. obviously, that's oh, that's everybody though. That's your guys' I know, superpower I know. is deception. It is totally true. Have you have you heard of? I've spoke about it before. Have you heard of like Paris? Is it Paris derangement syndrome or something? Is that where people? Is that just like where you have an idea of what Paris is and you get like a the fucking cold reality check? So I do believe, and I could be wrong, but I believe there's some, it's not called Paris Strange, whatever, it doesn't matter. But basically, there is a helpline for Japanese tourists who go to Paris <laughs> and have a fucking mental breakdown because of like what an absolute shithole it is compared to what they thought it would be. <laughs> is that true? Wait, say that again. It's Paris what? I don't know if it's. I don't think it's called Paris Derangement Syndrome, but it's like okay, Japanese Paris okay, well, I typed Helpline. In Japanese Paris Helpline is what I've typed in. Paris, it's just called Paris Syndrome. Paris Syndrome, yeah. And it says here, it says Paris Syndrome is a sense of extreme disappointment <laughs> exhibited by some individuals when visiting Paris, who feel that the city was not what they expected. The condition is commonly viewed as a severe form of culture shock. I mean, what do you expect? Like when people look at the Eiffel Tower, you know how fucking boring it would be to go to the Eiffel Tower. You know what I mean? Like honestly. I don't dude, I don't think they're fucking having a nervous breakdown from boredom. 
I think I as think soon as the well, I thought there would be. stench of shit hits their nose <laughs> and they get immediately it accosted. Smells like, it smells like baby diapers and vomit everywhere. Dude, like literally. I don't know if you've been to Paris. That is exactly no, what haven't. it smells like. Feelings of uh, persecution, prejudice, aggression, hostilities from <laughs> others. So people are just like throwing up on their feet and stuff. Eh, bon quoi. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> They're all smoking. <laughs> I like to imagine in France. I would only. I would get Paris syndrome if I found out that every cigarette wasn't six feet long. Like every Paris per- person's cigarette is like the fucking. It's as long as like Sephiroth's sword, and they're all like walking around smoking these super long thin cigarettes. Ah, Udwa, and they're all like bumping into each other. And it's just like <laughs> extremely long cigarettes. When I was a kid, I thought that was a real thing. I forgot what movie I saw, but it was just a guy. Uh, so I thought everybody in France just had a. Uh, Super long cigarettes. I was pretty bummed when I found out that wasn't true. Yeah, well, so you're saying you would get Paris syndrome <laughs> yeah, if that I would, wasn't I, the case. Yeah, I would look like a shell-shocked uh, veteran in 1973 from Vietnam if I found out that the cigarettes weren't that long. I'd be like in the fetal position in like the streets underneath the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> go, 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 yeah, no, the, no, the, no. the streets aren't paved with bagels, as your American media made you believe. Yeah, where's the bagels? Why do you sound like that? I, I shit you not, dude. The first toilet you step into would be enough to just devastate you. Honestly, I, I never, I never liked Paris ever since the uh, final season of Sex and the City. Tom, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, when. Carrie's dating the artist and they, she moves to Paris and it's really not all that she's cracked up to be. You know, it sounds romantic, but it doesn't end up being anything like she really thought it would be. And then Big comes and saves her. So it's nice. The little, little fucking slice of Americana comes to... That's why they're even doing it to, to this day, man. Like, um, what's that show, Emily in Paris? Is that it? Mm-hmm. Emily in Paris? Is that what it's called, Don? Yes. Yeah, looks like a comedy drama. Watch. I, caught, I caught my <laughs> evil, evil spouse watching it and i was like you you realize you've been to paris right and it's nothing like this oh, you right? guys have actually been i've been to paris yeah i've don's even been to paris <laughs> you, you both have been to so is it is it just like actually just smells just terrible does yes, it just fucking it smells awful? like shit it's dirty everywhere you constantly feel unsafe you were consistently hoarded by like 30 to 40 Africans trying to sell it sell you like put wristbands on your hands <sighs> and then make you like pay for them Bungwa. They're like, let me put this on your wrist. Oh, it's that's oh, the yeah. mate here. Yeah, How much now I you have to pay do? for it? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember like, no. we we spent thirty five minutes trying to find you a bathroom, and we went to subway <laughs> station, and we finally found one, and it's like you I just thought shit it was, on the floor. It was my first time in Europe, so I thought it was kind of cool. It was like it's like this like Star Wars pod, freestanding pod, and you put money in, and the door slides open. Yeah, um, it's all clean. Well, no. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Smoke, smoke Tom, to yeah, it's totally work. So Tom, <laughs> f- after 35 minutes, finally you find this thing and Tom puts like a euro in or whatever it was. And then the thing opens and he rushes in and we look and on the back wall of this fucking thing is just shit splatter. And oh, God. <laughs> he turns to face me and his dad and the door closes on his face. Uh, <laughs> it just like it's slide just, shot like <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> Why? The only thing I've seen with those, like you, you said, the door that opens for the uh, for the little toilet. The only thing I've seen online that was fucking disgusting was there's also like automated seat cleaner things. I know a guy shit on the open spot of that to where when the toilet lid would rotate around, it smeared his shit all around the fucking toilet. <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Oddly satisfying, but it was disgusting. Yeah. I like that. It was one of those videos you you watch like ASMR or something. It's like a tactile yeah, you get, video. You get, you get slightly chubbed up and you wonder if you have like a fucking poop fetish. <laughs> yeah. Apparently right, I look right, at right, reading, right, guys. Right. <laughs> right. Re- reading this, apparently the helpline is even open 24 hours. <laughs> It's it is literally this, around the clock. This two really in the morning. is a thing for Japanese guys too on the Wikipedia. That's yeah, it's for Japanese people, dude. Yeah. Do you it's think just, it's so primarily so more Japanese the, so women or you, men? Do you, or if you call it, or is it all Japanese operators too? 
Like it really is just <laughs> what it you are, <laughs> and Take a seat, take a deep breath, uh, have a have a bottle of water, calm it down. What do you think would happen if uh, the person was like Konichiwa and on the end of it and it's just like <laughs> Ule Bula <laughs> And they're like, oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, it'd be like when the fucking sentinels find Zion in the Matrix. They've, they've <laughs> yeah, broken yeah. in. They're in! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking unplug the phones and like throw them out into like a fucking garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> they know our location. That's uh, right. A bunch of fucking, they fucking bunch of Parisians they, they start crawling on the walls out the sewers of Japan. They sit, they sit there, and from the fucking skies, you just see like these French people smoking, but they're like they make little black clouds ahead of them, and they like grab a hold of them. And they're like floating around. <laughs> Yeah, float all the way to Japan now that they know yeah. its location from yeah. the helpline. They're reading, they're riding them like fucking the Nimbus cloud, like Goku. <laughs> 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 Sounds like fucking voodoo. <laughs> it's like what I'm turning into. It's just straight voodoo. Yeah. You got a good voice for that, dude. You'd sound kind of sexy as a Paris man. As a French yeah, exactly. Gym. Uh, where's your local bakery? Yeah, actually, literally, it just it it sounds like, like a Star Wars bird. Yeah, it sounds like a fucking Star Wars alien. Yeah. Well, you'll be pleased to know that Paris has become so terrible that even the Chinese have started to become affected by Paris syndrome. Imagine your country uh, becoming it's, so it's bad. More cute. Yes. Yeah. Even it, it, even the Chinese are now like yeah, it disgusted by the smog <laughs> and yeah. the fucking. Even the Chinese are grossed out. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's how you know it's bad. Facts, bro. Japanese are all cute and innocent, but when the fucking cockroaches over in in fucking China start getting grossed out, that's when you know we're in. We're okay, in real but trouble. in defense of myself and the things I'm making myself look like right now <laughs> we right. we were told that the chinese ate bats and gave us coronavirus and we didn't even blink an eye we were like yeah that kind of probably checks out so i mean don't come at me world does uh <laughs> does france have like a nice countryside or is it just literally paris no yeah, like, i mean because germany it's like yeah there's berlin but i've always i like i've been less curious about going to like berlin and more going to like all of the villages are castles. You know what I, I mean? Remember, I remember having the distinct thought that even the countryside of France was worse than Germans. Really? Yeah, I'm, yeah. There's, so the countryside is obviously like trillion times better than this fucking Paris. Sure. Obviously. Sure, obviously. Sure. Just same, same in England, like countryside trumps London. Easy. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably but very beautiful. I, I will say this. Uh, my parents used to take me on holiday to like countryside France when I was a kid and I I refused to use the toilets that weren't in the house because their public toilets weren't toilets. They were just like a hole in the ground. Like <laughs> in so you go in the toilet and there's like stone floor and there's just a hole that you're supposed to squat over and shit into. I I love that challenge, first off. And I am I'm, I'm looking at the <laughs> Yeah, uh, they're not built for Americans. That's fair. Th point. This this is why the uh Th th this is why Google's so deceptive because I see I just typed in French countryside and this came up and I'm like, oh my god, that looks amazing. Looks super, super beautiful. But then it, you know, once again, yeah, what it's you like, don't obviously know it's going to be holes in the floor to shit into. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I hope it's an extremely small hole too. And it's just like, you're like, oh, sorry. You have to have the awkward conversation where you like walk out to the homeowner and you're like, yes, I missed the hole. He's like, just kick it in. <laughs> kick, kick it in. in. With your Here, look, check this out, bro. Kick it in. Okay, that's what's in that town you're walking towards. Let me see. <laughs> Whoa. That's crazy. That's yeah, nice, dude. I like how uh, I like how dirty the hole is. Yeah, yeah. you couldn't just someone like, put just their like... feet on the fucking <laughs> <laughs> on the grippers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like how it's just like dude, it's just like yeah, we shit there. What are we gonna do? Clean it? <laughs> Fuck, like what, what, you know, which which oddly makes sense too. It's like well, we're just gonna piss and shit there even more. It's one tiny room in the house. Yes, yeah, I like that. I like how I... just the. The fucking black mold growing on this. Uh, God nice, damn! Nice I don't even shirt. remember the like. Honestly, the, the memories little, little I have, they didn't grips. even have the pores. They didn't even have the foot grips and the porcelain. Like this is more what I remember. 
like just a fucking hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's a literal Guantanamo Bay like cellar, <laughs> whatever. It's like a, it's a little yeah. That's, that's cute, dude. This is it's nice. so vile, dude. They've got a little place where dude, you put your feces. I'm, tr- I'm trying to think about the idea of squatting like that, which I know people are like, oh, it's better for you, blah blah blah. Yeah, oh, fuck. Squatting, off. you know, like those one of those shits where it feels like the the, the turd is coming out sideways, like, like, it, like it curls, like really painful. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, it yeah, curls yeah. back up. Like uh, having to work that out without like having the rest, like being able to rest while you're giving birth to this thing would be <laughs> brutal. <laughs> like listening to a guy just be like, ah, ah, ah like he fucking blacks out he like his, ha- his hamstrings <laughs> fucking snap like rubber bands he's like ah! like falls down the ground there. yeah just fucking his spine snaps and his face ends yeah. up basically in the hole yeah his fucking low his like lower spinal cord just fucking snaps and he becomes a fucking becomes a vegetable right there on the country floor <laughs> he's like ah more quiet there's gotta be someone who has died whilst trying to squat to give a shit oh 100 percent. well just think about all the people who sit down and die on the fucking toilet yeah exactly but at least there you're like seated so nothing (laughs) is not being squished you you know what it is though is that people die from they're so exhausted sitting and they they are pushing so hard all the blood's going to their head and they start seeing stars they black out and they fucking crack their fucking skull on the way down like hit the wall and they just bleed out right there. Yeah. The civilized that's, French have a smaller uh, distance to hitting their head, I suppose. So they just get a concussion. <laughs> yeah. He, thankfully he's alive. He just can't speak English or he can't speak French anymore. He's just like, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> no wait actually he's speaking perfect french our mistake no, actually, fine. Wait, wait, never mind that's actually ex- exactly what we wanted to hear oh yeah there's the, there's the uh there's he wants the a bagel there. the little Gwelp. wrap, the little wrap round door <laughs> yeah, this Gwelp. man wants a croissant immediately he f- yeah, he wants an extremely flaky croissant, don't you, Benqua? Gwelp. <laughs> Gwelp. Gwelp. <laughs> Just some like Indian guy. <laughs> Dude, those little holes in the grounds would not survive three fucking seconds in India. Good God. <laughs> well, you may, I think that they would, they would appreciate it. You I, don't think I people mean, would like it? I, I don't know. It's no, it's no sidewalk, you know? Okay. <laughs> All right. <sorry>. All right. <laughs> We're, we're having fun. <laughs> I would have accepted a river, but the sidewalk, we're getting a bit crazy. <laughs> I like that. I thought you were going one racist place and you went another one. It's good. <clears throat> Where did, which He's a place did you think I was going? Uh, just, I don't know, Indian food, splatter, something, something you know. That would be more, a, a more to, squat, to, to squat and have diarrhea and just have it be like a fucking Jackson Pollock painting on the ground to be insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, this conversation, this conversation, this <laughs> conversation, I, I feel. Gwelp. 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 I think like oh, these get, are get, obviously get him, get him the crouton, quick. These are supposed to obviously be uh, your rhinos, Fuck. but I feel like the fact they're in France, someone would press their ass up against it and just fucking <laughs> splatter shit everywhere. I can see. Yeah. I, I would use. I would, I mean, I would use a French horn as a uh, as a last resort. Even as a um, tourist, you could be forgiven for being confused, you know? <laughs> well, yeah. when in France... Oops. A- oops, you open up someone's music case and just shit in their instruments. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know. Oops. <laughs> Why would you have a toilet in a case if you didn't want anyone to use it? If you didn't want to use it. 
Okay. <laughs> what? Can David Marvel not join in from time to time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, David Marvel really gets around, doesn't he? Yeah, Everywhere he you does. look, he's, he's a, just he's a worldly about. guy. He's a worldly man. He is. Yeah. David Marvel. What a guy. What a fucking guy. I feel like by the time we do <clears throat> David Marvel in the next seven episodes, there's going to be so much deep lore we have to explain to people before going back into the bit. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, I, I don't have many other impressions uh, of my visits to Paris apart from. And, you know, this should speak volumes because I'm from England. The women being quite disgusting. Um, <laughs> God, man, really? They were that bad? Uh, that that, just, that memory. memorably bad? I Did remember you know, A lot also of noses the like Don's, but on women. You Say that again, up, Don? You... I said answer? a lot of... Um, I was just saying, I feel like a lot of the women had noses like Don. But, <laughs> you know, they're women. So it really just does not fit. I am oh, French. Maybe, you know what? Maybe that's where I get it. I'm I'm French and German. Maybe it's a French nose. Ah, maybe. Mm. It wouldn't surprise I'm going to type in French male into uh, Google. No, images. it's the women. It's the women. The, the men. Die. Just like England, like I don't know about the French men, but I'm English just trying men. to look for the noses. Anyways, also on the subway in France, I swear to God, there was a woman that I think was dead on a bench. Where you wait for the trains. I remember it vividly. <clears throat> to be fair, that is also extremely present in American yeah, train stations. Yeah, New York. I remember this one guy. I literally saw this guy's like skin deteriorating. You could see like his muscle fiber in his leg, and he was selling granola bars, and he was like hobbling on the train. And I'm mean, like, it looked like he was fucking dying, and no one like even batted an eye, even like looked at him. I kind of, I kind of like that. I love that America's. <clears throat> like, got to that point where you just you just the most horrendous crazy shit's going on but you just don't even look you're just like yeah you wear it that's where we're at no that's, that's what i think the, only uh, that's what the japanese only new york. do in this episode of cream crew that's just the japanese i won't stand for this did you the see Jap uh did you see on twitter the the angel thing was trending no, what you're to, talking like, about. So, on, like, so they documented a uh, angel. Yeah, I'm, I'm sharing the, the image right now. Yeah, please do show. <laughs> 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 that is a fucking angel, to be yeah, fair. It is, <laughs> it is an angel, isn't it? Oh man, what My a woman! Word. What a woman! That's definitely uh, one of God's chosen. If I ever saw it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yes, uh, Jesus absolutely. Christ. I wonder what they're like. Jesus Christ, Jesus. You know, you know, you know you're physically affected whenever whenever bro lets out Jesus Christ unironically. Jesus Christ. Well, help me. They don't call her an angel for nothing, bro. That's Look true. at them baps. Look at them big bad boys. Yeah, I don't know. Them I don't fucking know what milkers. She, she must have insulted God because she fell down from heaven for sure. I don't know what bro, she did to God, I, but she should for, Yeah. I there's not much I would deny that woman for just one chance to fucking play around in those fun bags. I'm telling you, <laughs> to play around. now what do I got to do to get myself to be able to play in those fun bags just for an afternoon? What afternoon for some fun bag play? Ah, oh, fucking sign me up. I she would probably you know she's probably very orthodox, so I'd have to convert to Judaism to even get a chance to peek at them. Just I even would, a whiff I would of them. Do it. I would do it. Uh, me too. I'm there. Fucking give me the cap. Give me. You know what? Give me Never mind. It. Never mind. I, c I couldn't do my boy JC like that for some JC? fun bags. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah. My boy. But alternatively, would JC have put these fun bags in front Honestly, of you if he didn't want you to take a nibble? Well, I think that he'd be a bro and he'd be like, dude, I get it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no, Jesus. It. Jesus is fucking turning back to Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus is turning back to the Jew when he sees those bad boys. Come I on. I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> He's like, yep. Yep. I'm going back, For, baby. He, he goes hey, back hey. into the temple and writes the tables. He puts them back up, puts all the wares back on them. It's oh. like, you know, you know what, guys? I'm sorry about that. Forgive me, Father. I knew exactly what I did. Yeah, no, forgive me, Father. I'm about to sin. Yeah, forgive yeah. me, Father. I'm about ready to fucking bust all my leg, all in my robe. 
<laughs> I bet you Jesus's robe was just covered in cum all the time. Everybody's just coming all the time. Yeah. I mean, if so, uh, Jesus was in Judea, right? Is that right? Yeah, Don, was you're a, the resident he, he, he theist was here. A, he was a Jew. Okay. Jesus of Nazareth. So mm -hmm. Jesus is surrounded by these scale of milkers constantly. Yeah. These the are time. these are fucking biblical level milkers. These are these are <clears throat> antiquity level Jewish milkers. You know, yeah, his his robe would be a, a wet, soppy rag, or extremely stiff. Especially because he's probably not beaten off. He's probably too afraid to like get caught beaten off because people would probably be like, dude, why the fuck is Jesus beaten off? Shouldn't he be like making fish and bread? <laughs> you, uh, dude, he, Jesus can beat himself off with Jesus magic, surely. Well, that's actually that brings up a good point too. He probably doesn't even have to beat off. I bet he just like fucking makes himself come all the time with like magic. With if I with was a son of magic. God, that's probably what I would do. I would do anything in my power to just like I guess, would he be able to manifest? Like, could he just look at the titties and then, like, manifest some big Jewish milk titties right there and just titty fuck them? I don't know. Maybe. You I would think really that if you had the power of, like, of God, you could, right? That or yeah. maybe, he's a, maybe he's an avid viewer of, he's an avid reader of The Secret and he believes in manifestation <laughs> like that. And he puts big Jewish titties all over his uh, his manifestation board and he's like, oh, and he just has like a really <laughs> nice, he has like a really vivid imagination. He just like rubs the outside of his like loincloth or whatever. And it's fucking, what happens. Yeah. Jesus he's like, too much storage because he's like, walks around and it's like all, all crumbly. <laughs> Like, dude, does that come all over your robe? And he's like, no, it's too much starch. And then, too much like, starch. What's, what's starch? The, the, for your guys' uh, your guys's, uh, washer and dryer machine, you, you know? Can I pitch right? you guys something? Yeah. Okay, so here's my video game idea. Jesus Christ is still walking around and alive in the, uh, the current day. And Leisure suit gets, Jesus? Huh? Leisure suit Jesus? No, actually it was going to be Assassin's Creed Jesus. So he goes in the oh. Animus and he goes back to Judea. And you know mm. how like the Animus often has like the people from the current day, but they're like back then too. You know, like yeah. the, the assistant or something. And you're kind of like, wait, is they like a... So anyway, he's going back to find like Gilgamesh. Jewish angel. <laughs> sure. Because those are like the prime milkers. I would what love to think? see the dialogue in that game. Like you getting missions. <laughs> Jesus. She's out. She's <laughs> like, you know, or whatever. Like she's in the corner market right now. Or like, you know, there's like a, you know, there's, there's trying There'd be a crowd. There'd be a crowd. So you'd have oh, to like take one of the yeah. top routes, you know, like running and across like, fucking fuck. wooden beams. And I should have known she draws a crowd. You know, like go around. It's like everybody just like looking at her. She's yeah. just like, let me go <laughs> home. Let me go home is what she's screaming at him. And then, yeah, he's like, he has to like fucking climb up. Well, to be fair, and they're like, what? The, the, the only problem with that is there's, I feel like the Assassin Creed guys build the games around like, okay, does this area have a super tall thing that we can jump from? That we can see the tits from 100%. Yeah, a two story <laughs> building. That's the tallest building in town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're saying you don't think they would have like tall enough buildings? They would. They yeah, have to do, like to, um to do the jump no. into the hay barrel. No, no, no. You know what's, I mean? hey, Don, Don, what's the one where everyone was speaking different languages, or they weren't, and then God made them, <laughs> so they built a stupid tower. The, the Tower of Babel. He jumps. Yeah. Off the so tower the Tower of Babel. of Babel is there, and you can jump off of that right into her giant tits. That's the fucking end mission. Oh, uh, the Tower of Babel does look pretty sick. Yeah, that'd be pretty. That'd be pretty fun. I'd be down. Is that during Jesus times? Tower of Babel? I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> do, do you know what, though? That we you know what they should do for a, license. Well, I was going to say, for the fucking, for a game about Jesus, I just put shit that wasn't even there. Like, I put the Empire State Building in fucking Jericho or whatever city we're going to be in. I don't know. What, whatever city we're going to be in, there's just the Empire State Building and, like, the Eiffel Tower and shit. Yeah. Yeah, we just have someone. Yeah, meet him over at Quart. Verizon Records Tower. They, I mean, you could do that. Like they could say the animus is like glitching up. You can follow. You can follow Jewish angel from uh, Brooklyn, New oh, York, yeah. all the way it back is, to Judea. Yeah. In that game too, you have to have like the fucking most feeble, like neckbeard guy be the descendant of Jesus. What is this all about? <laughs>
<laughs> you have to take you back. He's really. an atheist too. Yeah, you got to yeah, start him as an atheist. I don't atheist. believe in that. No, fairy tale. That's okay, a bunch so of crap. It's a fairy tale. So why don't I just, why do I, hey, you'll be talking to the tooth fairy while I'm there, you fucking idiots. <laughs> It's like, please, we need to put on this headset. Oh, okay, hey, I'll also be sure to get, tell Satan, uh, I'll be get, I'll get some leprechauns and some unicorns while I'm there too. <laughs> Fucking idiots. I like that. There's so many good like angles to this too because the Templars are like the bad guys in Assassin's Creed. So there's there's lots That'd of nice so angles, sick. you know. Yeah, he hooks it up through a Steam Deck too, so you get like other games in there too. Like yeah, there's, well, uh, if you get under, there's like kinda... un, there's like Undertale. So it's like there's like a guy like <laughs> you know, like whatever the fuck the sounds are in that game. Jesus like walks by and you see like Sands or whatever the fuck just like standing in a corner. He's like, uh oh, Yeah, this will freshen it up when you get bored of trying to complete the meat and fuck main quest. <laughs> of angel. Fat milkers. <laughs> by having him be like a neckbeard atheist, though, I feel like you do make him care about it more. Like he's like at first, his character arc is that he doesn't care, but his exactly, need yeah. in the story is to get some pussy. So when he does get it, it's everything he wanted, but he has to like sacrifice a part of himself that he loves or whatever to get the pussy. Yeah, to go to heaven, so to speak. Am I right, boys? Yeah, exactly. To fucking really see the pearly gates, which is just like Homer Simpson's mouth, I bet. Oh my god, dude! You're getting me fucking chopped up. <laughs> Side, sideways, no. Homer Simpson's <laughs> mouth. Yeah, yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah. What would you What would you call that? Because they already made like the they Red made Seas. Ass- I'm telling you that for free. Ass- dude, that'd be so sick to meet Moses, and he's like a fucking like he's like Merlin or something. Yeah, his only reason for existing is to open Jewish angel fat pussy lips. Yeah, is this is the only tool? Well, he makes like a uh, he makes like a tool. Or something, which is actually he gives he gives a magical device, which is like all these like crazy magic things, but it's just a dental dam. <laughs> Be sure you need to drape this over the cursed single eye. He's like, what? <laughs> Jesus has the same voice too as the neckbeard guy that's <laughs> that's in the headset. What? Okay, fine. Uh, if I have to. I feel like if you're that far that through, fight. though, like he started to believe a bit, you know? Oh, sure. Well, do you think that it's because of all the miracles or do you think it's just because people are sucking his dick so much that he's like, OK, I mean, let me put. Yeah, I mean, he like associates it with him. So he's like, it is real. You know what I mean? I don't, it, I don't it, know how any man could want to take a bite from that forbidden fruit and not think that maybe there's a higher power. How can these titties be just some silly product of evolution yeah just a there's coincidence clearly di- di- yeah there's clearly <laughs> divine craftsmanship in this yeah so you're just telling me people use like i've heard this deal it's like so basically you're saying it's like uh people explain the big bang is like throwing a empty laptop or like a broken apart laptop and then it falls into synchronicity mm. so it's like they, they explain it that way with her tits so you yeah. just tell me that it's just throw that against the wall and it just falls into perfection okay sure <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll, you're I'll, telling I'll, me someone I'll, I'll didn't spend uh, a long time crafting these perfect fucking baps. That's Richard. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Chiseled out of the aether, out of the cosmic energy. Okay, sure. Yeah, we won't believe that. Yeah, I that's mean, fine. I I feel like that's what would happen to me anyway. Uh, what would you call the game? Because I think there is there already Assassin's Creed Babylon or now. I think so. I'm checking. There's not. Wait. Babylon. I don't think they've done any of this in the uh, did Babylon, Assassin's Creed games. Babylon's not like anything to do with Jesus, is it? No, but it sounds good. <laughs> right? You are right. It does sound good. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't think any of the fucking idiots that play these games would know that, like, Babylon wasn't, you know. Or you could do uh, Assassin's Creed Resurrection. Ooh, I like that. Assassin's Creed Resurrection. Or Assassin's Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed Risen. Oh, double uh, entendre. Yeah. Nice. Or I think to really just the, big, the biggest sales would just be Assassin's Creed. Giant white Jewish titties would be the game. I'm fucking. That can be the collector's edition. It's the most fucking. It's the most. Yeah, it's the it's the, the metal case collector's edition thing <laughs> with the embossed the, titties. The fucking, yeah, the embossed titties. Yeah. Oh hundred twenty dollars from GameStop. Hundred hundred twenty dollars. Uh, two hundred from GameStop. They can, they can raise the price. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, 
Yeah, no, they could raise the price. It doesn't fucking matter. Everybody's going to buy that. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, my God. It has one of those things, too, where it, they, they rate it E for everyone because they're just like, we won't, everybody needs to play this because it'll change your life, but it's the most gratuitous, <laughs> disgusting game. And it has a the, the, the slip of the cover is like, it, it's like one of those uh, plastic wraparounds, but you can like take it off and it reveals other art, which is just like the giant, beautiful titties. Yeah, well, I, I think you would want to do uh, something kind of like, she should always be covered, right? Because you want this woman's modesty intact. But then for well, some reason, thing. it's always sheer. It's always see-through yeah. because of like circumstance. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Just for the, it's like you can kind of see it, but you can't really see it and it drives you crazy. Yeah, 100%. The, the uh, in the game, do you think whenever Jesus, does he does he get to, does he get his way, I guess? Does he like end up, you know, being able to like motor about them, feel them, you know. I feel like he should it. get to like slap them about a bit, but nothing more than that. Well, what I was going to say is, does this t- circle back in with Paris syndrome? <laughs> like, does what? he get there and you it's take, not as good as he You take off her top and they're just like fucking <laughs> droopy and gross. No, I think that you get there and it's like, it is beautiful. But then when he like plays around with them, he's just like, oh, this is like, you know, it's okay. It, she's, they look she's great. Just a, she's just a terrible nag. That's what you're saying. I don't know if a terrible nag is really the appropriate uh, response. I guess more so like, uh, I don't know. Just yeah, yeah I just, it's, it's, it's one of those things dude. where it's like one of those things where it's just like he's like, you know, this is these are perfect. These are perfect tits. I'll never get that wrong. But was, was it worth all the fucking pain and trouble I went through? Not really. I just can't things. live in that world. For me, there has to be a world where they're as amazing as you would assume. <laughs> yeah. You have to have something to fight for. Well, that's the thing is like, then it, then that's a real question of faith and it kind of ties in with the game. Oh, I like that. That's nice. <laughs> that's your have faith. You seen- and then there's two different endings where it's like, was it worth it or was it not? And that's a, the player's decision at the end. I do want to point out, and mm. I don't know if this is kind of are influencing life or life influencing art, but Jewish angel. His husband does look exactly like the kind of like beta male cuck we're talking about who goes back in time to be Jesus and discover these tits. Let me see if I can find him. I just put it in the general. Oh yeah. Wow. Kind of looks like an elf, doesn't he? Here we go. This one right here makes him makes him look like an elf to me. I don't know why. Like a <laughs> the the hat is doing no favors. You need to stop it with that hat. <laughs> it looks like an elf in this picture to me. Yeah, I uh it drives me insane. It should also be it should the, be fucking man. illegal. But this <laughs> man be, is who got gets to see those baps all day, every day. It should be illegal to wear this hat. Like I, I'm I, I think that that hat needs to stop production. If unless you're like 50 years or older, you should not be allowed to wear that fucking hat. I agree with you, dude. But uh, that's the kind of guy that gets to fucking titty fuck. You angel. A guy who wears that hat. I'm not going to go online. I'm not going to go in and say that. I'm not going to say the Shapiro thing because I don't, I, I, I don't know. It feels, does it feel wrong that we're just saying her specifically? But it feels so right. <laughs> I mean, you know, it does, I guess. It is, you, it is, you know, maybe inappropriate. It's maybe not the kind of thing you probably want to put online forever and part of your digital footprint. <laughs> but yeah. what's done is done. The I like tables to think, in the though, temple have been flipped. I like to think, though, in the future, Tom, that we, like, this is like 20 years down the line. No, I'll, I'll give it six. Six years down the line. <laughs> in it, way more accurate. <laughs> and I, uh, you know, especially at internet in internet time, it moves so much faster. So really, it feels like twenty, right? Yeah. But we I, we meet up again. We haven't talked. We we talk, but I haven't seen you in person for a long time. And then I ring your doorbell. Oh, well, surprise them! Why not? Right. Door and opens. My beautiful and your wife, wife opens the exactly. door. Exactly. And you've converted to Judaism, <laughs> and you have done it. And I wonder why, because the channel's gone. I haven't heard from fucking anybody, and it's just because you're in you're in serenity. You've never been happier. 
And it's because you have, it's everything that you've ever wanted in your life was this. And, and all I do is this, it's kind of like the end of uh, dark Knight rises when <laughs> Alfred <laughs> looks at Christian Bale and just like nods his head. <laughs> I don't, we don't even say any words. You just kind of come around the corner you shake your head and I shake my head and I leave. Yeah, I can that, see that's it, brother. The, and that's the en- that's it. the ending of our of our communi- communication. Because in my mind, I'm like, if I ever spoke with him, the illusion of perfection would be gone. I have to have that. <laughs> the same way that you have to have something to fight for. That would be like, it'd be like if I ever was down, it'd be one of those things where it's like, Dad, did you know somebody who had a perfect life? And I'd be like, I did. I did. He's probably still out there, and it'd be a mystery. But I got to I got to hold on to it. It's a nice fantasy, but the truth is, is you wouldn't get within like two hundred fucking yards of my house because it would be locked down tight. <laughs> <laughs> there would be fucking barbed wire. There would be automatic sentry <laughs> turrets. Go outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you are not getting it my treasure, never, bro. <laughs> never allowed to speak to another man again. Never you allowed to even contemplate days. another human's <laughs> existence ever again. Uh, you except your way except from the uh, last one. You would you would remove all internet activity except for one thing, wouldn't you, Tom? What's that? It's a uh, our our Patreon over at <laughs> patreon.com slash cream crew. We have bonus episodes every week, especially this week. And if you feel like, oh, is it where I mean there's a huge catalog now. It's been it's been great. We've got nothing but positive responses. And you can also join up on our YouTube membership if you don't want to go over to a different website. And sign up for our YouTube membership. We'll get access to the same bonus episodes. So please do that. Yeah, we had we had a nice good one last week. Uh, so if you want to hear me and Don read off a forbidden script of a cartoon that was never made, feel free. Hopefully feel free. that's enough to uh, tempt them. Or we can just end with that what will. you said. Either or. I like I like both of it. I think people, it's, it's nice. I saw the comments. It was nice, healthy. Uh, people enjoying the insight. Like nice little behind the scenes, you know. Did you watch it? No, I was uh, I was on vacation. I didn't have my phone on. That's I okay. haven't watched it yet. That's okay, dude. Get off me! I haven't watched it yet. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. All right. Thank you all for listening today. We will be back again next week uh, with another episode of Cream Crew.